Natasha just announced that she's going to be quitting her job by the end of the year, which is super exciting. We're going to be talking about why she's quitting, the things that we discussed before she made that decision, and how that will impact us. Hi, I'm Joseph. And I'm Tasha with One Big Happy Life, and we make videos about how to find balance, build wealth, and live happy. So if you are all about creating a life that you want on your own terms, then we make videos just for you. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a single video. You heard that right. Your speakers are not broken. <laughs> Tasha is going to quit her job by the end of the year and work on our business that we have right here going full time. Okay, so if you are new to the channel, let me tell you a little bit of what I do in my day job. So I am a lawyer and I practice banking and finance law, specifically on the consumer side. So it really is not surprising that we have a YouTube channel about consumer finance because that is what I do as a lawyer in my day job. And so this business has been growing like really, really fast. We've been having a lot of fun with it. And so it's also created, I mean, many of you have asked the question for a while now, this, this concept of, well, should we be doing this thing full time? Is Tasha doing this full time? And so far, she's been holding down a full time job. And then we've also been doing this. And realistically, she's putting in tons of hours in this business. And so now we decided that it was time to make a change, mainly to find better balance between like everything else about our lives and how much Tasha is putting in for working. Yeah, when we, One Big Happy Life has evolved so much from where it was two years ago and the number of hours that are involved with the business has increased dramatically. And so before it was actually pretty easy for us to just like pump out videos, especially when we were doing a lot more just like vlogs and just kind of, well, whatever we're doing, we'll just shoot a video about that. But now we've actually focused on creating a lot more content that's helpful and aimed at really not only teaching people about how to manage their money, but inspiring them to take charge of their money and create a custom tailored plan to the life that they want. And doing that takes a lot of effort. And so we've ended up splitting up a lot of the work where Joseph will take over, took over so much stuff around the house so that I could do a lot of the stuff related to the business. But it just means like we are both working more just in very different ways. And, but because of that, I've spent I spend less time with the family and the kids and Joseph because I spend so much time not only working on the things that need to be done to sustain One Big Happy Life, but also the things that we're looking to do to grow One Big Happy Life. Yeah, and our family has really been really concerned about how much Tasha has been working. And we've, we've said, you know, you got to just, just be able to relax. And while there's only so much time in the day and there are different things that, that need to be done. And like she said, so I, now my greatest impact is keeping track of all the money and tech side of things. And so she's handling all those other things. And, and so she doesn't have that time to really take care of herself. And so we're very concerned about this. Like this is not a long-term situation that we can sustain as a family. And, and that's, that's one of the biggest things that will now be able to change. She will have more time because she can segment, well, here's work on the business, but then, oh, I can also have time to work out. Mm -hmm. I can, I can have time myself. So that's, so, we're, so we as a family are very, very excited that that is going to be a, a change moving forward. Now, I will say once we realized that things were getting out of balance, we started having conversations about, okay, well, what's the, what should we be doing to get our lives back in balance? And this can be applied to any situation where, you know, something starts to happen and all of a sudden something in your life just isn't quite right. And so then you need to kind of brainstorm, well, what are our options? And so we're like, well, I could quit my job. We could um, scale back and do less for One Big Happy Life and, you know, which would also, of course, reduce the revenue and the growth of One Big Happy Life. And if you notice, we, we have done a little bit of everything. Yeah. Like we're uh -huh. making fewer videos this, this year and to try to help that a little bit. Yeah. Kind of put a band-aid. We used to make 
between four and five videos a week. And now we're kind of more like two to three, but ideally we would like to keep it at three and it just doesn't always happen every single week just because we have all of these other balls that we're juggling. Another thing that we thought about doing is keeping both my job and One Big Happy Life and then just hiring on a lot more help both in the household and on the One Big Happy Life side. And I will say that we do have team members that we work with on One Big Happy Life, not full time, they're contractors, but our eventual goal is to have One Big Happy Life grow to the point where we can support a well-paid staff with like, you know, people with, I don't mean like a massive staff, but mm -hmm. like, you know, employees who also work for One Big Happy Life and are paid well and have excellent benefits and health insurance and 401k. And, you know, I guess that brings me to the next point, which is the impact, right? And trying to decide, well, which thing did we want to do? One big, the impact of One Big Happy Life on people's lives is just undeniable from the DMs we get, the emails we get. Whenever we meet people in person, we randomly come across people. They're just so excited to meet us. And they talk to us about how the things that we are doing, these videos that we make, our blog posts, our Instagram posts, our daily Instagram story, morning motivation, mm -hmm is just what they needed to hear to help them take charge of their lives. And that is just amazing. Yeah, that feedback that we've been getting from all of you has been fantastic. And that's that's really what has kept us going a lot of the time is saying, oh, well, this person was able to buy a house when they thought they could never buy a house in the financial situation that they were in. And we because we talked about it in a video, what you can, like the steps that you need. Can you buy a house with student loans? And the answer is yes. And, and so we've made a huge impact and it's been so positive. And while there is a large impact at Tasha's current job, it's, it's definitely it's different. different. Yeah. Um, I mean, the work that I do in my day job definitely is on a national level. I can definitely point to things that will impact people, um, in the long run. Um, but it's, and so it's also still very meaningful work. And so that's why, honestly, I struggled with which decision was the right decision for so long. Um, we knew One Big Happy Life was getting big basically around like July of last year. That's when we started having these conversations, like what are we going to do? What's the plan? And then we went to FinCon and everyone was like, you are, your business is doing what? Like in terms of revenue, in terms of the amount of content we're putting out. And they're like, and you both still work full-time jobs and you have kids. Like, how are you guys doing this? This is insane. One or both of you need to quit your job. And we knew that we were getting to the point where, oh, like we're feeling a little bit burned out. This isn't sustainable, but I couldn't pulled the trigger. And Joseph's so close to public service I mean, loan forgiveness, oh, like he's not quitting his yeah, job. Yeah. So yeah, for me, it's a completely different ball game. Um, Tasha isn't nearly as close. And so I get, it just works out so much better for her to be the first person to leave her job. But yeah, after FinCon, I mean, everybody was on board, including me. I was just like, you just, you quit and and then you just hit the ground running. Yeah, just is like, we'll figure it out. Like, I, I just have confidence in you. Like, if we, you know, and I'm just, for me, I'm like, I'm a planner. I am, you know, like planner down to the core. The five-year plan with all of the spreadsheets five years out from now, that is all me. I love playing with those things. And so I'm like, I, I can't do that. Like, we need to just, even though I'm confident that, yes, One Big Happy Life will continue to grow and, you know, we have what it takes to put in the work to make it so, I still felt more comfortable if we took some time to just kind of make some financial plans. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. Of course, one of the most obvious things that we wanted to talk about first was how it's going to impact our money situation. Because of course, we have our daughter in college. Hmm. We in fact just bought her a car. And so we've got some obligations there that, that we definitely want to watch out for. But fortunately, because we've been planning our, our lives and our finances, I mean, so far out and so well that like we have even pre-funded our retirement savings, which is, of course, a huge concern. And because we've done that, we know that we can cut our retirement savings by half and still have $7 million saved at normal retirement age. So we've put ourselves in a position where we can make huge money changes, mm -hmm. at least in the short term, until the business then takes off even more. Now, I will say, though, 
we have also put ourselves in a position business-wise where we don't have to make those kinds of concessions because One Big Happy Life is a six-figure business and many months earns more than I do from my day job. But we are happy that we still have, because One Big Happy Life is still a very young business. And so we have that safety net of Joseph's income. We only actually need one income to survive. It's not gonna be like, we're not gonna be taking international vacations when we drop down to a single income, but we certainly don't need additional income in order to meet all of our financial responsibilities. And so one of the things that we did, again, we started this last year, couldn't say anything because my bosses didn't know about it and I didn't want to hear, didn't want them to hear it on YouTube. I wanted them to hear it from me. But that is why we decided to do rapid debt payoff at the beginning of this year, because we decided we wanted to crunch our budget down and make it smaller so that if we needed to cut back, we could. Now, Joseph mentioned we bought Alexis a car. That is part of the plan. We knew our intention was to purchase her car and pay it off before or very soon after I quit my job. So that car will get paid off this year. That is our plan. It might change a little bit, but I doubt it. Yeah, so we had all that in order. One of the other things that we talked about was how it was going to affect how much time Tasha had and also how much time we have as a family. And I mean, this was kind of a no brainer for her quitting her job because clearly she's going to get back that, all that commuting time, which we have a very long commute. And Three hours not a day. Fun. Yeah. And then the 40 hour work week, plus all the mental time that exists when you have a job mm -hmm. because you're th going to be thinking about, well, what do I have to work on next week? And so sometimes, though you're not getting paid for it, your mind is on your job. Yeah. Not to mention, that the difference between like, yes, I do consumer finance law work and banking work, but the way that I even talk about those concepts at work versus here on One Big Happy Life, it's very, very different. And it often crosses over in that, like the way that I write for work is often the way that I'm answering comments. And, you know, I'm answering like a lawyer and not just like, a, a, you know, a teacher, someone that is inspiring, you know, regular people, not people who are all steeped in legalese to take control of their finances. And I like did not like navigating those two worlds. It's definitely, and then I'd be at work typing like, like I'd be typing for a blog post. And I'm like, I can't write that like that. I need to redo this. So it'll be nice to just go all in on something, like make a choice and not be straddling between these two related, but still very different worlds. Yeah, so now we have been planning for exactly how that transition is going to occur. And so we have kind of all of our financial ducks in a row. Um, one of the biggest things that will no longer be available, so Tasha's public service loan forgiveness will go, well, will not be an option for the foreseeable future. It doesn't it doesn't make her ineligible or something, but she would have to then go back into one of the qualifying qualifying jobs. And she's just not that close with about almost still seven years. Five years. Five oh, years. Oh. Five years. <laughs> okay, so not, but five years is a long time. Yeah, and so I'm two and a half years away. So it's like still much, much further. So that's not really a concern for us there. Yeah. So we're going to we are setting ourselves up with the understanding that we're gonna have to pay these students student loans off ourselves. And so, um, you know, we're toying with different scenarios, but we're looking at, you know, probably we'll pay it off over the course of about 10 years, maybe sooner. It just kind of depends on how the business does. But that brings me to our last point, the thing that has really, is really allowing us to make this shift because I am leaving a very secure job with a very good income, which was going to increase by like $15,000 next year because I'm on track for a promotion to go into the uncertainty of entrepreneurship. But 
It's that we have an abundance mindset. We believe in our ability to not only plan very well, but also pivot as necessary to um, if when there are things that come up that didn't go according to plan. We don't expect things to go perfectly. We expect things to go wrong, but we're confident in our ability to overcome those obstacles. And we are are both confident in that. And so that's, that's one of the, the things we, we came at this decision as a couple and had these, well, really as a family, but mm-hmm. you know, we all talked about our concerns, the pros, the cons. And so it's important that you know your family is on the same page and that, that certainly is where we are now. And, and I think since we all have that mindset that we were, we're gonna figure it out one way or another, like there's nothing that we can't come back from. I mean, even if in five years, this business is like, for whatever reason, just doesn't do well enough, doesn't do well at all, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I'll still be a lawyer. <laughs> I can always go back to doing that kind of work. I don't believe that um, that's going to be necessary, but you know, I'm confident either way. And so it's really important that when you're thinking about these decisions that you don't let fear um, stop you from making the best decision that you could for your life, which is allowing you to follow your dreams and pursue your passion uh, rather than staying in a place that stunts your growth. Yeah, it's all about just looking at what options you have at the time and then you know using the best information that you, that you can. And sometimes you don't know what will be there, but like, I mean, that's, that's really what life is. You don't exactly know what's gonna happen all the time. So Yeah. So this is just kind of the beginning of this journey. And we are so excited to share everything with you guys along the way. That's one of the reasons why I went ahead and told my bosses, even though we're months out, because we wanted to be able to share the journey along the way instead of kind of popping up popping it up as a surprise at the end and say, oh, well, this is what we were doing all these past months and you had no idea. So any questions you have for us, drop them down below and we'll be sure to incorporate those in future videos. Bye. Bye.